Hello, Cesare here with some more Silent Hill 3. We are nearing the very end of the game, I think. I think. <laughs> we got Wintrigue in the channel already, which is rare. Normally, she's not here at all. But today, she's joined us. Now we gotta get all the way back down to the tarot card room. Where the fuck that was? This will be exciting. So we gotta go dodge. Some NPCs along the way. One in particular that I'm not looking forward to dodge is... In this next area, just down here. Ah, shit! There's just like little moving things all over it now. What the fuck? I didn't like this last time I came here. Alright. God damn it. Oh, there wasn't any enemies there. Alright, cool. There's fucking enemies here. Damn it. I hate these things. It's so annoying to dodge. Oh, I don't know how you're supposed to get to the end boss without getting hit. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat the end boss, but we are going to save in this room coming up here. Alright. The dim uh, order loser. We can pain the ass. Anyway. Hey everyone! Yeah, the map! Hey Floppy, how's it going? All right, uh, I'm celebrating Boxing Day. Speaking of which, a better way to spend Boxing Day. Let's change that up. Look at the bow at the map there. How you doing, Fluffy? Merry Christmas. Did you get anything cool? Steve's here. Steve's sitting on my uh, soundboard. See, Steve. Exciting stuff. You had a wonderful Christmas. You got Mario Party for the Switch and Monster Hunter World. Awesome. So you got a good, uh, good score. She's dark for Silent Hill. Hey, you hug Sassari. Hey guys, join Wind Trick for a boss fight. We got Long here. Hello, Long. Welcome. Oh, join Long for a boss fight. Alright, so we got all the tarot cards. Um, so we gotta read this. Aw, oh, thank. Alright. The first thing you must know is that there's something in each row. Half of it. Three would be too hard to fit. The upside down man under the ground. To his right, to his left, there's no one around. Leave him alone, though. His tears... Are profound. All right, we're gonna take a picture of this. Take a picture. Oh, yeah. The moon crest is above the sky, f uh, full or crescent, floating high. Twinkling light sits like a crown on the head of a crazy clown. Sorry, I am. Uh, Trying to figure out a puzzle right now, guys. Your Excellency, playing to God Most High, do you think you can tell me why you always look up at the night sky? Okay, hang on, guys. Do you have it now? You didn't forget. One major point you must omit. And now at, la at the last, before you take a whack, here's one more thing to help you keep you on track. Scary and hateful, that thing in the night. Better be careful, it's not on your right. Turn to the left and you'll keep it in sight. Doppelmero! Nope. So you'll open the door? 
Alright, so let's see. What can we do here? So the hangman is the upside down man under the ground. To his right, to his left, there's no one around. Leave him alone, though his tears are profound. So we got the high priestess, the hangman, the moon, the fool, and the eye of night. So, if I had to guess, I would say... We want to put you right here. So the moon. I don't actually, it's up in the sky full on the head of a crazy crown. So that would be It can only be two, so... I'm wondering if we should put maybe the High Priestess right... No. If we put the High Priestess there, the Moon there, this there, and you there. That is not correct. Okay. Hmm. Fire trickling light sits like a crown on the head. Crazy clown, so the fool would have to be right, right here. Nope. Did I get anything for Christmas? Uh, not really. I bought myself a, a webcam using the money that was donated. Yeah, yeah, I know. It could be two per row, and yeah. The thing at night, better be careful, it's not on your right. Turn to the left and you'll keep it in sight. Not there. No, nope. okay. You see the solution in no row or column has three, so it doesn't matter. to you to make the distinction between rows and columns? Yeah, that, that makes sense to me. There's no three there, but there's three there. All right, I figured it out. I um I knew I had them in the right like rows 
Uh, I just didn't know which column I wanted each of them in, so there we go. Anyway, you're one for one on, on duels. Did you win? Oh, long one. Okay. Congrats. Um, so guys, yeah, no, I, I didn't really get anything for Christmas. Um, my dad came down to visit, or up to visit. He's going over to my brother's today. Yesterday he was being very loud and uh, making a lot of the background noise, which is kind of annoying. Oh, that's really annoying. That's just what I wanted to hear. Don't make me run towards the screen. I like that. So there's a good chance I'm gonna die on whatever's coming up here. Really good chance. two of you to die, that would be nice. Then I could relax. When did you stop believing in God? God lives. Just look around you. But I do believe in her. In my own way. I fear her, and I adore her. But I haven't lost my mind like you. You think that this is the work of God? Isn't this all nothing more than your own personal nightmare? Just like Alessa 17 years ago? If this really is the work of God, then I'd say she has lousy taste. You mock God? Traitor. You will go to hell. Not that again! Who do you think you are claiming to know God's will? Go home, Vincent! Home? This church is my home. I built it with my power. The power of money that you view with such scorn. Although, I admit that this atrocious scenery is all yours. If you continue to get in my way... Then you'll kill me. Well... <laughs> well... The guest of honor has arrived. Let's get this party started. Heather, go ahead and kill this crazy bitch. This demon who claims to speak for God. The time has come. You can kill her now. You go to hell! What did you do? Mm, nothing important. You're not going to run? I guess this is the end. No, the beginning. As Vincent said, the time has come. Vanessa, I'm saddened that you didn't agree to this on your own. But I thank you for nurturing God with all the hate in your heart. It's time for mankind to be released from the shackles of sin which bind them. But a god born from hatred can never create a perfect paradise. Happy people can be so cruel. Is it so hard to believe that sympathy could be born out of pain and suffering? But why do you reject God's mercy? Why do you cling to this corrupt world? You know that only God can save us. Save you too? Happy ending? And 
that's fine. Listen, my dearest. For the pain that I've caused you, I deserve no mercy. Even if it was to save mankind, father's foolishness. What? You're pathetic. Hey, Omega Theory. Welcome back. Say hi, dirty bot. I didn't think that would actually do anything. thing to do. Fuck you guys. Ah, so rude. Anyway. Alright, so the bosses I had, was doing, I was in the hospital because um, I was told to look for someone named Leonard. Uh, so, Michael, or uh, Douglas sends me to the hospital while he goes off to do whatever the fuck he feels like. And then, um, at the bottom, you fight Leonard, who's like in water and such, and he's basically Claudia's dad, and he doesn't like Claudia, he thinks she's a piece of shit, basically, and he wants to deal with her. But when he finds out that you don't want to rule the world either, like he does, he just doesn't want Claudia to do it. You kill him, you get to steal the Metatron, you go back to the, uh, to the inn, where you find out that uh, Vincent's in your room, and he sends you to the church. 
But on the way to the church, you go to the amusement park, meet up with Douglas, who is wounded from trying to kill Claudia, and he tells you, you know, hey, I knew all along who you were, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then you fight Alessa on the carousel, which was an annoying fucking fight. I wasted all my ammo on her. And then you uh, head to the church to find Claudia like you originally planned. Alright, so I think here we gotta go into our inventory and not try to slash her. And if I remember correctly from the other Let's Plays, we use this. Yeah, well, I don't know if she was killed there specifically. I thought she burned in the hospital, but maybe that's where she was originally injured. Or maybe that is where she died. Yeah, you do fight her in uh, Silent Hill 1. She is nearly here. Looks like God didn't make it. Stop! God is... Claudia! Okay. All right. So I think we want to start this fight off with our uh, handy dandy handgun. I don't have much in the way of bullets. I have 40 bullets, 12 of these, and 32 of these. So it's more than I had le uh, finishing the other fight. A dissertation of the plot on this. Might want to go read one, because I don't really think I can give you one. I can't adequately explain it. I've been enjoying it. Uh, oh my god, I definitely plan to play Shadow Hearts. It's on my list. The fuck, Valtiel? Hey, P! Can't be 
dead. I was going to kill you. That's pretty good. Pretty quiet. This is God. Played some Silent Hill 3. I remember correctly. Ow, bitch. I should probably heal. Now when she leans down, if I remember right, we want to the shotgun. Ow. Get hit, apparently. Which hurts. Use that. Swap back to this. Hit her from right here. Ow. Ow. Crap. Sorry for constantly opening the menu, guys. Should still be okay after that. She hits hard, though. I wonder if I can hit her from back here with the machine gun.
trying to play it safe here, but I don't keep getting hit by the fire. Too close. All right. Almost out of healing items too. This person suggests using a mall. Shotgun shells. Oh, you need to equip it. That's great. Damn it. Alright. Well, this is gonna take a few tries, so. 